is. It is a great and evil day. Yes, the devil is, is running to and from devouring whoever he wants to. That's right. But there's a group of people in this earth today. Come on, brother. And they may not all be here, but they're scattered they're all scattered over the place. The but there's a group of people yeah, in the on, earth today on, that Satan can't touch them. Come on. This world out there in the rottenness as it is, that evil day that we see there, yeah. brother, well, it's an evil day because it's the day of God. It's a day of God. If you're in that, yes, if you go to that that, that tower, yes, right. that strong tower, right. right, and you get in there and say, "Lord, here am I," brother, would you do that? You're covered. That evil day doesn't touch you. You can go up to the stake if necessary. We will see that come about. Yes, we will. It's unfortunate, but we will. Praise God has. A order laid out. Amen. We've been privileged to be able to be a part of that order. To be able to see that. There was a time when 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 the uh, love of God was in abundance. It was everywhere, Brother Bob. You didn't have to worry about it. That charity was there. And we'd seen it demonstrated. We'd seen it taught and then seen it demonstrated. And somehow that got lost. It got lost. Brother, it, it, uh, people begin to trade charity for favoritism. Amen. You know, and as we begin to see that, then we begin to see the churches get in trouble. Amen. The world that's in that awful evil day out there begin to creep into the churches. Amen. And it's like the sister said, it wasn't all at once. No. But it was here a little, a little there a little, like the slip a little bit on this, back up Amen. just a little bit on that. Amen. Don't worry about what you look like, it's okay. Come on, brother. Just go with your heart, it don't make any difference. Amen. Treat your neighbor with favoritism, that's okay. Amen. No, that's not okay. No, it's not. That's not what the book says. No, right. The book says that we're a, be a peculiar people. Peculiar people. Now, peculiar in my book means different. Yes. You don't look like the world, you don't yes. act like the world, right. and you don't talk like the world. Yes. Whether if you do, you become part of the world. Yes. Now, the same Amen. Jesus Amen. that touched my body yes. and took care of that cancer isn't out in the world. Amen. Amen. That's not where I got that from the world. Amen. The healing that I got from Jesus Christ, Amen. he's my Lord and Savior. I, I, I heard of uh, one of his brothers preach a message on the doctrine of one. It's one of the best things I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. He knows exactly who Jesus Christ is yeah. and how to get his attention yeah. and how to let him be a part of that. That's where I got the healing that I got Amen. from. Yeah. Not from the world. No. Not from the world. The doctors in the world didn't help me on that. Didn't when I let them take a cancer out of me before, Amen. it almost killed me. Amen. It was a side effect when Jesus took it. <laughs> there was nothing. I, just, I had pain and then the next day, there wasn't anything there. You know, that's what Jesus does for you. Not what the world does for you. Flee that old wicked world. You don't want to be a part of that. You don't want that to be your, your heritage there. But as we, we go on, you all pray for us. Amen. Pray for me. I, I'm going to go back up in Kentucky, Tennessee, and Indiana. Up in there. And I've got some, some people that I'd like to see. It's been a while since I've seen them. Yes. And I know that I'm not going to be received real good. I never was. Amen. So that don't bother me. Amen. You know, that don't bother me a bit. If I feel Jesus is with me, Brother, there ain't no devil in hell going to be able to hold me back. If I really feel that Jesus was behind me and, and what I'm doing, and I pray about the things I did. I don't just decide to, to see uh, Brother Smith because I had not seen him in a long time. I'll pray about it, and if I don't feel led to do it, I don't do it. I want to be able to do that more. Amen. I don't want to have to pray to seek the will of God. Amen. I want to get to the place to where the will of God becomes a part Amen. of me. Yes. You know, the scripture has been used here. Let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. Amen. 
Oh, that's a man that I want in me. That's a man that I want in my children. That's a man that I want in my brothers and sisters. I want that to be a part of us. And when we get to that place, brother, we're not going to have to worry about it. This is an old wicked world. And you know, we're going to be into it till God takes us out. Anyway. So we might as well go with God. Y'all pray for us. Uh, I think Brother Lonnie's going to take me to the airport tomorrow. It'll be uh, about the 11th of October when I come back. If, if they don't run me off up there. But I don't think they're going to. <laughs> I don't think they're going to. They haven't been able to do that yet anyway. So you all hold us up in prayer. We'll hold you up. I love you. I, I, I feel so at home. And I have such a peace. And assurance here. I've never had in my life anywhere else. And, and I've, I've started churches and and they prospered and God's been dealing with me. And I know I was in the will of God, but there there's a rest here that I have that I've never had before. Thank you, Father. And I think more than anything, it's because I'm sitting among a group of people that not only love God, but they love the world too. Amen. That makes a difference. Amen. Don't remember us. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Let's go back to Brother Darrell Embry and say, Lord, go with him. Go with him, Lord Jesus. Go with him, Lord Jesus. Watch over him, Lord Jesus. Protect him, Lord Jesus. And send him back to us, Lord. I used to sing a song when I was a boy, and I still sing it sometimes. I forgot the second verse of it, I can't, uh, so I, I may have to live on the second verse. But uh, uh, I'm just as rich as you. I started singing this song when I was about uh, 13 years old, 14 years old. And I want to say thank God for Sister Lori sent her message. Praise our God. I love you. God puts you in my heart. Put that Monty. He's, he tells me, hey, well, what is it, Monty, you say you are to me? You're one of my, uh, uh, similar to bodyguard. Yes, sir. And that is, is that it? I can swell up on your behalf. Glory to God. <laughs> yes, amen, amen. He's been right with me. Praise God. And I've enjoyed this service. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I enjoyed Brother Buddy Kennedy. Yes, I didn't even enjoy the Sunday night service. Uh, coming here, lifting up the Lord, blessing the Lord, worshiping the Lord. We're old time Pentecost. You go over Bradenton, and we're not perfect here, and we have flaws. But I can tell you this I know Bradenton. I've been here a good while. And you, you, you'll search a long time to find people that are wanting to be more Pentecostal. Wanting to be old time, old fashioned. Yes. Praise God. We want to be. We want to let our light shine. And I love you all. I really love you all. I'm going to try to get on that tune there. Praise God. I don't know what key you got, Sister Teresa. Is that C? All right. Amen. Amen. I want you to. Where are you boys going? Praise our God. Amen. In time, you're going to go anyway. Praise God. When a preacher's on his feet, you sit in that seat. Amen. 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 I notice a lot of people ducking out here in the church. I watched it this afternoon. I watched it, uh, I watched it several services. You stop it. Stay until the end of the service. Praise our God, unless you got to go to work. you got to go to work, college. Amen, amen, amen. Please, I just thought I'd say that. I didn't charge you for that. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I was taught to stay at the table till the meal was finished. Yes, sir. Amen. My father would wallop me good if I didn't. All right. I'm just as rich as you. Now you may live in a mansion and ride in a limousine. Or sit on the throne of splendor and visit kings. 
Let's sing that first verse one more time. Now you may live in a mansion and ride in a limousine. Church, yes, we are. 